Hello everyone. Today I'm going to show you how to crochet this rug. This rug can be crocheted in any size. It can be as large as a classic floor rug. It can also be small. And you get a pot holder or a hot pad. A feature of this rug is the same pattern is on one side as is on the other. We will crochet this rug in the following way. We crochet any number of air loops. Then we crochet the pattern for the number of rows that is required. Then we process the edges. Crocheting the pattern and processing the edges are very easy. I'm going to show you everything now. But first, let me show you the pattern. It looks like this. and the edges look like this. The processed edge gives the rug a finished look. Let's crochet. I will crochet a rug from knitted yarn. Choose a hook according to the thickness of the yarn. I use a hook number 5.5. We make the first loop. I do it like this. We crochet any number of air loops. The wider the carpet you want to get, the more air loops you need to crochet. So we crochet air loops. We crochet the first row so that later it will be easier to process the edge. Look, on the reverse side we have these loops and we will crochet. Crochet an air lifting loop. Turn it over and crochet the first row. Let's crochet like this. And that's the whole pattern. So we will crochet all the rows on one side and then on the other. In the same way, we will crochet all the loops to the end of the row. Let's take a closer look at this. This is how it looks from the other side. Crochet all the loops in this way to the end of the row. Crochet the last stitch like this. And the first row is ready. We have a pigtail both above and below. Now we're going to crochet the second row. We make an airlifting loop. Before crocheting further, we hide this tip of the thread. We put the hook in the center of this pigtail, pick up the tip of the thread, and pull it out. Further during crocheting, we will place this tip inside the row and thus hide it. Next, we crochet in exactly the same way as we crocheted in the previous row. While there is a tip of the thread, we hide it inside the row. 
we crochet like this. Sometimes we can pull the end of the thread. That's all. The tip of the thread is hidden. Then it can be cut with scissors. We crochet further. And so throughout the crochet, we crochet just such a column. The principle of crocheting the entire rug is as follows. Crochet a row, make an airlifting loop, turn the rug, and crochet the next row. We repeat this required number of rows. Pay attention to the very last stitch when crocheting each row. Or rather, crochet a row to the very end, including the last loop. It may not be visible, but you also need to crochet it, otherwise the rug will have an irregular shape. Here is the last loop we crochet it as well. In this case, the rug will have the correct shape. Again, we crochet an airlift loop. Let's turn it around. And we continue to crochet further. Let's say that you crocheted the rug of the correct size. It is necessary that visually the first row of the rug should be similar to its last one. Therefore, pay attention to if you need to crochet another row, or maybe you need to stop crocheting right now. We have finished the crocheting the rug. The next step is to process the edges of the rug. Do it as you like. In my opinion, with the processing of the edge of the carpet, it will take on a neater look. To finish the edge, we will crochet two additional rows. It is very easy to do this. First, choose the side that will be your front. We will crochet the first row on this side. Then we will crochet this side. We crochet along the edge of the connecting columns. There is no rule on how to crochet these columns on this side. You can do it as you feel comfortable. The most important thing is to avoid tightening. That means that we crochet them loosely. I crochet them like this. The connecting columns need to be crocheted close to the edge of the fabric. We crochet like this until we reach the corner. At the corner, we crochet two connecting columns from one loop. Here I crochet the first connecting column. And here, another one. It is easier to crochet on this side because there are already loops there. I crochet on this side like this.
At the next corner, we again crochet two connecting columns from one loop. On this side, we should get the same number of columns as on the opposite side. This is the last loop. To connect the row, here we crochet another connecting column. We crochet the second row on the reverse side, so we turn the rug. Here we will also crochet connecting posts, but we will not hook the hook for the entire pigtail, but for that half loop that is closer to us, the front half loop. This one. But first, we crochet an airlifting loop. We return to the back side and crochet the connecting posts like this. We crochet the connecting posts in a circle. At the corners, we also crochet one connecting column in each loop. And so we crochet to the end of the row. We crochet the last loops. We crochet the last connecting column into the airlifting loop. And we cut the thread. We hide it. And I do it like this. If desired, the finished rug can be steamed, and our rug is ready. Here it is on the front side, and this is what it looks like from the back. Thank you for being with me. I'm going to tell you a lot of interesting things in upcoming videos. Bye!